Hey everybody, what's up? Leonardo2003 here, and we're back with our final Rise of the TMNT City Showdown gameplay video. So let's just jump right into it. We're going to be versing Baron Draxum. Or Baron Draxum. Is that an alright impression? Um, am I, is my John Cena impression good? But uh, yeah, should, yep, that boss is defeated, that boss is defeated. Now where was that uh, under, oh, whoops, fail, <laughs> sorry, stupid pop-ups. Um, yeah, here is the underground city, the mystic city beneath New York. So we hop right into it, and we're right there, Baron Draxum. He is the only boss I've uh, actually been excited to play. So, now, yeah, that's good. Now, let's get into it. Let's see what villains we got. Ooh, we got uh, Munin, or Moonin, or Hoogan. I think it's Hoogan. I think that's what it is, but yeah, that's cool to see him. Let's see how these guys do. Last episode, I did some, uh, some fast-forwarding to save you guys the... Uh, from some boredom, and I may do that again at uh, at some point. Oh, look at the blocks! The blocks are on point. Oh yeah, can't you can't touch me? Yeah, I did a little fast forwarding last episode because I mean, this game is very repetitive. If you played it, you know that. And I think we're at level 10 right now, even though the levels don't really mean anything to me. It's kind of silly. They kind of just said, um, yeah, every game has a level system, so we might as well just put one in ours, too. Because, I mean, this game does feel a little rushed. Maybe they rushed to get it out with all, all the sneak peeks that just got released, but, hey, whatever. Now I know you can just completely button smash attacks, so hopefully that'll take out all these origamis real quick. But yeah, guys, so uh, the TMNT Season 4 video, I've been talking about it for a while. It's been done for a while. It'll be dropping this weekend. I don't care if Rise of the TMNT, all of Season 1 leaks out, and I've got to cover that. I don't care what news comes up, because that's my excuse. If I've got a video ready to upload, oh, 10 is our max level. If I've got a video ready to upload... I'm gonna wait until there's like no uploads for a few days so I'm not just like flooding a subscription box because this is like one of my bigger videos you know like my top 10 list it's not just a uh, a 30 second video that or like a quick three minute breakdown like it actually took a long time to write the script and everything it's a long process so I want you guys to all see it and I want you all to enjoy it hopefully all you 2003 fans out there Pretty much all the 2003 fans are probably my first subscribers because I started out just doing the 2003 stuff. I was doing 2003 top 10 lists for different things and I was doing um, the 2003 first video game on the, uh, on the Xbox, the PlayStation 2 it was on, the GameCube, all that stuff. But I was playing it on my Xbox. And that's how I started out, but then the uh, the 2012 series got cancelled, so I think that was my first news update video, actually. <laughs> Crazy, right? Like, I start my channel, and next thing you know, the 2012 series gets cancelled. And uh, so I did a news update on that, and uh, then, like, some 2012 DVDs were uh, getting released, so I did some news updates on that and some other stuff, and... Uh, yeah, I just kept going with the news updates, and I mean, if you go back and watch my first few videos, like <laughs> I'm obviously not used to talking to a uh, to an audience in them. I'm still really not. I'm definitely not good at uh, you know just talking uncut or anything like that. But I mean, it was bad, even with just editing and everything. Like <laughs> my voice was just like so lame and the videos weren't really edited the same way they are now so things are better now that's for sure not saying my videos are top-notch or 
deserving of anything more or anything like that, but I mean they were just really not so hot back when I uh, back when I first started this channel. But yeah, now we're doing a whole bunch of stuff. We've uh, covered a lot of the 2012 series, covered all of Rise of the TMNT, which I'm kind of proud of because I mean everything kind of started with that 2012 series cancellation video. That was how a lot of you guys found out. And, um, yeah, just went from there. We started getting these little tidbits of news of Rise of the TMNT. It was going to be 2D style. It was, um, the rumor was it was going to be way more comedy based. And, uh, obviously those two things are both true. And, um, yeah. And then eventually we got some a few leaked photos from the Las Vegas Licensing Expo. And then we finally got the character art reveal that they did live on YouTube and Facebook the one day. I'm sure a lot of you guys remember that. I was at work and I went to the bathroom. I was like, I know that they're doing it at 1 o'clock, so I went to the bathroom at 1 o'clock. And I just tuned in for a few minutes just to see what was happening, and uh, it was cool. But, yeah, the character art got revealed. And then, what was next? I guess that maybe a trailer might have came out after that. Um, well, yeah, there's a lot of a lot of battles in here of the same exact battle over and over again, but whatever. Hopefully, if we keep talking, it'll just fly by. But, I mean, I wish our max level wasn't reached because... Our attacks are not doing that much damage, so Draxel might be a challenge. But I mean, we've got so much pizza that this shouldn't be a problem, unless if the battle is really long and I keep missing my dodges. But uh, I don't really see anything challenging happening until we get to that Draxel fight. Then I'm hoping it's a challenge. It better be a challenge. And that's cool that we got Hugin in here. Someone called him Hugin at the, um, I think it was the moderator at the Comic-Con panel for Rise of the TMNT. I'm pretty sure she said Hugin, Hugin Immunin. But I don't think that the uh, anyone from the show gave comment on him, so I never got to hear their, they would know. The moderator might just be reading the script and they might have got it wrong. But I'm thinking it is Hugin. Maybe if, uh... Was it said? Was Hugin or Munin ever even said in um, episode one? Because I could just turn on. No, no, no. What am I saying? No, they weren't. They weren't even uh, said. I don't think in episode one. They were just hanging on Draxum's shoulders and talking a little bit of crap. Yeah. Long story short, we've come a long way. We've covered everything on Rise of the TMNT. And there was there is another uh, another awesome TMNT channel. I'm sure all of you guys that are subbed to me, well not all of you guys, but a lot of you guys that follow me know of the Turtle Den. He used to go by the Sewer Den, but there's this guy on uh, on Instagram who goes by the Sewer Den. And um, actually, uh, the Turtle Den used to go by the Old Sewer Den. But there's a guy on Instagram called The Sewer Den. I'm pretty sure he's an insider at Nickelodeon with the uh, with the TMNT, and he's got a huge TMNT collection too that he's always posting about. But yeah, so there's a little bit of confusion. So the old Sewer Den changed to the Turtle Den, and he posts some good um, good videos. I guess this uh, his this TMNT channel that he has. I guess it was initially a side project for him. It was his, uh, his second account, but then uh, I guess maybe, I don't think it's his second account anymore. I think that he focuses more on the, uh, Mikey's getting low here. We got to focus, but I think he focuses more on his, uh, on the Turtle channel now. His original channel, I think, is Top Movie Movement, something along those lines. And yeah, he's got awesome comment, or <laughs> awesome content. Maybe me and him can uh, get together and do something one day. But, uh, yeah. So, we, uh, we haven't, uh, resorted to fast-forwarding yet through any of this. Man, these guys can attack quick. It's hard to block them. 
I think we should be able to take everyone out right now. Alright, one more hit for him, and hopefully Hugin will go, go down in the five hits we have on him. Alright, perfect. Mikey was getting low there. Does it automatically eat my pizza? No, it does not. So let's eat a pizza. Another pizza, another pizza. Alright, now we're good. I think we just wasted a pizza, but it's all good. Wow. The same exact lineup again. They're not even throwing Munin at us. They're just <laughs> letting it get stale. Yeah, they definitely just rushed this game out. They said, you know what? You have to grind out a bunch of repetitive levels, and then you get to burst Darren Draxum at the end. Hopefully they uh, they come out with a cool a cool game online for this uh, TMNT. I'm not sure how the 2012 games went on Nick.com. Nick I never got to play any of them, but I'm not sure if any of them ever got too deep. Because TMNT Legends, that game's pretty deep. It's also pretty uh, pretty oriented around them trying to steal your money or steal little kids' money because uh, it's pretty much a pay to play on that game because once you get to about like a little past halfway through the story you have to grind every day for about probably two months straight until you can beat the next level and move on to the next stage and I just got tired of it I said you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste my money just so I can uh, beat this game because and I know you can mod it online or you can uh, you can hack it but I mean, I mean what's the fun in that I'll let the uh, let the other channels that already do that take care of that. There are some Team NT Legends channels out there that I've seen that incorporate a lot of the 2012 show actual scenes into their videos, and that's what they base the uh, the videos around. They try to like follow that same plot and reenact the battles, which is I guess it's kind of cool. <laughs> I thought it got a little boring after a while, but hey, they get a lot of views. Every time I see one of those TMIT Legend videos, it's at like 12,000 views. I'm like, what? <laughs> that many people are paying attention to this iPad game? But yeah, yeah. The 2012 series is immensely popular. Even after the, the stopping of it, it still has its fans, most definitely. And uh, right now, as of filming this video, I have my episode 3A war and pizza review all done even though the uh, episode 2b donnie's plan has not yet been released for whatever reason i decided you know what i'm gonna have a lot of free time because there's probably not going to be much rise of the tmnt news to report over the next uh month or so until the ep the series actually debuts september 17th i'm pretty sure when it debuts that uh it's just going to be like a marathon of all the new episodes, like six episodes in a row that same day, I think. I saw something like that on uh, Mikey and Pizza, the Tumblr page, which always has reliable information. So I'm thinking right on September 17th, we're going to get like six episodes aired. Because, I mean, they might as well just get them off their chest. They've already released them all online. So why not? And I know that there's... Sorry if you just heard my door close. You guys have any doors in your house that like... Maybe the house is like a little slanted or the room's a little slanted so the door will just uh, somehow shut like 10 minutes after you touched it last. Or you'll have a drawer in your room on, in one of your dressers that all of a sudden will like creak open just a little bit. Either my house is... A little tiny inch slanted or I have a ghost in my room either or I'm not sure which is scarier I guess the ghost right we got one of the origami soldiers is no, one of them's down let's get the other one down hopefully so we only got to dodge two attacks yep we'll get them down here Alright, now we're cruising along. We were 
getting really low on health with Mikey before, but ever since then, we've been taking care of business. I want you guys, if you made it this far, you, uh, you're certainly going to get a, a, a reply back from me on this video. Because I know this video isn't for everyone. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not everyone wants to see this game or hear me talk. A lot of people just want Rise of the TMNT news or like top 10 lists or whatever. So if you made it through here, you're definitely a true fan. I appreciate you a lot. But leave a comment down below. What is your favorite uh, music artist? Because uh, music is something that I'm really into. And I'm a big classic rock guy. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I guess when I talk for too long, I keep having to uh, do that. <laughs> type thing because uh, my voice just goes on me gotta have my Gatorade nearby but yeah I'm a big classic rock guy I love uh, Guns N' Roses you know ACDC Aerosmith the Rolling Stones all that stuff all the music that your parents like that's my kind of music but you know I don't uh I don't discriminate, <laughs> I don't know if that's the best word, but uh, I, I still like uh, all different kinds of music, I like uh, the modern stuff, I love a lot of the pop songs that come out, you know, a lot of them are catchy, you know, a lot of them sound good, there are talented people still out there today, I'm sure plenty of you guys are big fans of some current artists, I think, you know, Taylor Swift, Megan Trainor, Charlie Puth, they're all really good, Charlie Puth is really good, I, if you... If you've been on YouTube for a while, you re remember Charlie Puth used to be pretty big back in the day. Yeah, he started out as just like an, a normal YouTuber that uh, was one of those first ones that kind of get got popular in about 2009, probably. He always made these like catchy little songs, these cheap little songs, and I think he made intro videos for other popular YouTubers. Like he had that song. These are my sexy shades. These are my sexy shades. If you remember that song, then you are, you know, you're just like me. You've been on YouTube for ever since the beginning. Is that the, uh, the portal back to the other world? Uh, let me get back there. Uh, oh, that's a different portal that leads you back to the very beginning. All right. That's how you get back to reality, back to New York. So we should only have a few more orange squares left to go. Hugin again? Come on, why can't I just face Munin? That's all I want, I just want to see Munin. We're button smashing away, that's for sure. But yeah, drop a comment on your, uh, I always lose my train of thought. I always go from one thing to another on these videos. That's why I can't do these uncut long videos. If the game's not interesting, because I have to carry the conversation, and, uh, that's definitely not my strong point. But, uh, yeah, leave a comment. Your favorite music artist right now. It can be a current person, it can be someone from back in the day. Whoever is your favorite go-to when you're putting your iPod on and, and you're tired of all the music and you just want to listen to your one favorite artist, your go-to, who is it? I want to know. And uh, I'll definitely comment back to you and I'll give you my opinion of, uh, of your favorite artist. Because since I'm pretty big on music, I, I kind of know a little bit about every artist that's out there right now. You know, I definitely know all the hits, that's for sure. But, I mean, all my fans out there who can drive, who even really listens to the radio anymore. I, uh, when I'm in my fiance's car, when I'm driving with her, I'm not listening to, the, or I am listening to the radio, but when I'm driving with just me, I'm either always listening to my, uh, my Apple Music, that has all of my stuff, you know, like, over a thousand songs or I'm listening to like a, an interview or a podcast that just came out that I'm really interested in but I mean yeah I don't really listen to the radio that much at all 
And we gotta get our blocking up because Donnie and Mikey are both getting low on health. I don't know why we're so uh we're so stingy with our pizzas. We've got so many of them, we might as well use them. Ninja power. I, th I don't think that my Baron Draxum impression is that bad, actually. You are... <laughs> no, that, that wasn't a good start. You are... Meh, nah, now it's not working. You are about to be a part of an experiment that will change the face of humanity. Yeah, that's not as good as it sounded in my head, actually. But, I mean, John Cena, he's just got that, like... <laughs> so deep of a voice when he when he tries so pretty hard for for me to emulate that and pretty much all this i hate how pretty much every ninja turtle game gives the turtles all the same stats like Raphael, he should be the heavy hitter you like maybe make him a little slower but make him a little stronger and make him have maybe a little bit more defense or like something like that and yeah there'll, there'll definitely be ways to balance them out they can like put like special attack or like mystic power or other things like that so he's not too overpowered because he's so big but i mean i hate how all the turtles have the same stats they all do the same damage like leo he should be the all-around one he should have like you know kind of like middle of the pack everything Maybe extra, um, intelligence, if that's a thing, or extra, um, mystic ability. Mikey, he should definitely be fast, and he should definitely be good with attack, but his defense should be low. Maybe intelligence a little low. Sorry, Mikey. You do, you, you're smart, Mikey. You just do silly things sometimes. And, you know, Donnie, he's a, oh no, he's a soft shell turtle. I was about to say he's good with defense, but with his battle shell, yeah, he definitely would be good with defense. Make him have high defense, maybe a little bit lower attack. High, um, oh wow, we forgot to use our pizzas again. Jesus, now we got it. Leo, hopefully they just keep attacking Leo because... Uh, wow, four for four on blocks, that's pretty good. But I mean, we might be able to take three of them out right here, which would be awesome. Yeah, definitely three of them are getting taken out. Alright, so... We're not going to see our first turtle death yet, that's for sure. Hopefully no, none of us die. That, that wouldn't be good. But, uh, yeah. Pretty impressive so far. Even though this is uh, definitely an easy game. You could definitely lose track of your, uh, your health and die on accident. Because blocking isn't that easy. Sometimes they come at you and they attack fast. Alright, full health. We're at 85%. We're getting close. Pizza supply fully replenished. And I think this is going to be our last bullcrap battle. Again, wow, every single stage had the exact same enemies. That's just not cool. I mean, this is the final stage. They really... Had to get lazy at the end? Like, come on. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I don't even need to block, because we're at full health. They're definitely not going to take us out, that's for sure. Now I'm just going to come back, do some combos. Get my ninja power back up again. No, it looks like it's not going to happen this round. Whoa, did we just... I think that when I button smash sometimes, and it doesn't switch the opponent that I'm targeting, I'll just attack like nobody. Because I'll go so fast that my next guy will attack just as the guy's dying. So my attack never goes through. I think. I don't know. All right, so we're starting off with going against Draxum with full health and a full bar. So let's do it. Baron Draxum. You deserve it. You deserve this boss battle if you waited this long. Ooh. He is big. 
He is a big dude. Ninja power, let's go. Might as well be fast, get our combos up. And let's see what kind of attack he's got. Finally, Munin comes out. Oh my god! Oh my god! Are you serious? Can I even- I can't even use pizzas mid-game. What? He just did a- He just attacked everyone. How do I even stop that? Is there a way I can just like spam block? Oh, everyone can block at once. I never knew that. Wow, everyone can block at once. You know what? Whatever, I'll finish out this battle. But I mean, we all know I'm not going to make it. I never knew that you could block with everyone at once. That's like a... How did I just figure that out at the last <laughs> second? Wow. All right. Now that the game wants to suddenly become hard as shell... Everyone just got an HP bonus, but that doesn't really help my guys that are dead. But they're not dead. <laughs> Definitely the wrong word. Damn, what? why did you just block, Mike? I didn't even touch a button. Wow. And now we can't even... Alright, I guess I'm going to do a Mikey combo. Imagine Mikey, like, just somehow clutches it out. I mean, I guess I could block every attack with Mikey, right? I don't even have to move my, um... My bar at all. Or my, not my bar, my cursor, my mouse. So, let's see. Let's see if, if this, would, this works. Oh, yeah, I mistimed my block. Alright, back to Draxum. We're back at full health. Let's not let that happen again. Now he's starting all the way out over there for some reason. Alright. Alright. This is very scary, that's for sure. Alright, so we got our combo up. Alright, we're doing damage. I mean, I think that we just got unlucky last time. Like, Baron comes out of nowhere with that attack. Jesus, he took out everyone's health. Baron keeps moving around. He's a nut. He can't stay still. We are button smash. Oh, everyone block. Wow. I thought everyone was blocking, but I guess the blocks ran out. Ah, uh, we didn't get our combo all the way up. Dang it. Gonna have to wait until next round to use our combo. And, wow. Leo and Donnie, or Leo and Mikey just went down. Raphael and Donnie are not far behind. Thankfully, we dodged that attack. Damn, I didn't realize they had everyone left. Draxum just, like, kind of hogs the whole screen. Hopefully, this does some damage. Can we get Draxum out here? That'd be huge. Oh, no. Alright, well, we just have two people to block with, so... Oh... Yes. Oh, just in time. Just in time. See, now, why can't the game be like this all the time? Like, actually, like, make you have to try, you know? Draxum is down. Draxum is down, so let's go for Hugin. We've got our ninja power. 
This should take out Hugin. Maybe Munin too. Mutant, I mean. Alright. Alright, we're gonna win now because he, they can only attack one person. And we've got two people. So we clutched it out. We clutched it out. Oh, Donnie looks like he's dead, but he's gotten just like 1% health left. Alright. It took a few turtles going down, but we did it. We did it. Well done. Visit all the areas to find more battles. Oh, please. Find more battles. Just for kicks. Let's see what the battle is. Yep, the same exact battle. Yeah, no thank you. Yeah, the boss is crossed out. I think they just want me to replay the same things. Are you serious? Are you serious? So, it looks like no bonus characters for beating the game. Pretty much expected that, but at least we can check this out. Maybe I can zoom in on the screen right here and we can uh, check out these... Uh, Character designs, We've got Donatello, Leonardo, pause the screen if you want to see in detail, because I'm going to go a little bit quick, but you, there you see Leonardo's straps in the back, how he holds his katana, Michelangelo with all of his face paint, or not his face paint, his body paint, Raphael, I mean he's huge, so they got to make the pictures really small to fit all five, an Uskido, those things look pretty cool. Master Splinter, <laughs> the one everyone loves to hate. The Foot Lieutenant, perhaps the most powerful foot person that we know so far, because Baron Draxum isn't confirmed yet to be foot. So yeah, it's the Lieutenant and the Brute, and I think the Lieutenant is kind of in charge over those two. Like the Lieutenant is the brains, and the Brute is the Brute. And there's the city. Love the colors. I mean, everyone, all the haters of this show, they all have one nice thing to say about the show, and that's the vivid colors. I mean, this, the the backgrounds and everything, the the um, just every scene, just the backgrounds are amazing. All the vivid colors, it really catches your eye. So that looks like maybe an entrance to a um, to the underground city or some building in there. There's New York. See some Chinese restaurants. That might be Japan. Oh yeah, that's Japan. I think I see the... Is that the Japan flag? No, I guess it's not. But yeah, that's Japan because everything is in Japanese writing. Or Chinese, whatever. I can't tell. And here's Mad Dogs. Right at the end of episode one. They showed this graphic. Pretty cool. Uh, I forget where this was from. Yeah, I can't remember where that still was from that's from episode 3a war and pizza what I talked about in the beginning of the video I just reviewed it there's an awesome picture of Draxum all these mutants it's cool to see it's kind of zoomed out for me playing this game right now so when I zoom in on in it when I'm editing it that's when I'll, I'll, I'll see all these mutants but uh, yeah I'm not sure if we'll ever, ever get to see any of them in New York. Maybe a lot of them won't even pop up again. But, uh, because we just saw them all right when they entered the Mystic World, the underground city, and then we never seen any again. Here's the lair. We've seen this at Comic Con. We got the half pipe, turtle power up here. I think it's a giant basketball hoop right there. And there's all the art of Baron Draxum. It's all pretty similar. The underground world. I think this is Draxum's palace up here, maybe. Maybe that's the entrance to it. And last but not least, April O'Neil with her mystic bat, which we have not seen yet up until episode 4A. So, there you have it, everybody. I have just shown you everything that this game has to offer. And yeah. So thank you all for watching. If you stuck through this video through now, thank you so much. Again, you're definitely my biggest supporters, and I thank you for that. 
always remember I appreciate you guys. You're not just a like, you're not just a view, you're not just a comment. I love engaging with you guys in the comments, and um, you make it fun, you know. Because you guys are the only turtles people I can talk to, you know. I don't. I can't go into work and talk to my guys about the, the Ninja Turtles. It just doesn't work. Most of them are in their 40s and 50s, so it's like... They don't even know of any cartoons, let alone the Ninja Turtles. So, um, yeah, guys, thank you all for watching. And I'll show you all these, I guess, <laughs> for no reason. But, yeah, so thank you all for watching. That's it for this game. Maybe when the next Rise of the TMNT game comes out, I'll give it a spin. Hopefully it'll be a mobile game, because they're a lot more fun, usually. Some stuff to unlock and everything, so thank you guys for watching, and peace out.